many of us, groceries are eating away at more of our income. Your food bill, your food's been going up by 50%. Your income's been going up by 23%. So now you're spending a whole lot more of your money on food than you were before. In August, the Consumer Price Index, a key tool to take the temperature of inflation, measured a mere 1.7%. In fact, the feds have hit their stated target of 2% or less every year since 2000, keeping inflation as tame as a bear heading off to hibernate. What do you think about the prices in the grocery store overall? Um, I think they've consistently gone up over the past two or three years. You know, like for uh, essentials like milk, cereal, bread, and uh, it bothers me. It's not just food. Rental housing is also up by 50%, and transportation and energy costs have soared by triple digits since 2000. Yeah, I think about it, but I mean, really, what, what do you do? What can I do about it? Except vote. So why do the feds keep telling us inflation is in check when our cost of living is going up well beyond 2% a year? The Fed chooses to keep food and energy out. That's right. Food and energy are not part of the core inflation rate. Government officials tout because those costs fluctuate so much. Include food and energy costs and it would make it almost impossible for the feds to hit their goal of 2% inflation. Those reasons translate into policy and that policy translates into an impact and people have to deal with the impact. Add in food and energy and Isberg says the true inflation rate comes out to about 2.36%. It would not be such a big deal except that it's happening year after year at a time when most people's wages on average have increased by only about 2.2% a year. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.